Robbie Weeds here. I have an example of some pine needle scale. If you look closely, you can see the white almost look like flakes. They're uh, actually insect, a scale, armored scale insect. Uh, very similar to oyster shell scale, how they're kind of elongate, but uh, one side is thinner than the other. Um, if you can see around it, you can see the, the green needle is almost yellow. That's uh, the uh, scale desiccating the nutrients and the moisture from the needle. Um, this is a very small population, just one or two um, around each uh, branch. You know, you could find them in some other areas, but there's one right there as well. Um, these are uh, one, a heavy population of scale, especially armored scale, can't be uh, sprayed with contact insecticides. You have to spray them with either a systemic, such as dinotefuron or uh, imidacloprid. Dinotefuron is actually labeled for armored scale. Imidacloprid is labeled for their crawlers. Uh, they're a younger, um, actually mobile uh, life stage. Um, Another option which I find almost more effective is uh, getting out very early in the spring with a dormant oil and smothering um, the, uh, the young crawlers and anything, uh, any eggs or before uh, they get large enough. Even a spraying a summer oil and smothering the adults, um, a lot of times it's more effective than waiting for a soil drench of uh, Safari Dinote Furon uh, moving its way all the way through the tree. Um, maybe two applications of uh, some type of oil and uh, a soil gents of safari is a good way to get rid of um, pine needle scale. Um, you do have to be careful because uh, this a lot of times is confused with dried sap. Say somebody pruned a, trig, a twig above this branch and the sap dripped and dried it turns white. You have to make sure it's actually a scale insect to diagnose. So um, these could be flaked off and you would see just the yellow damage. Um, but that's how you tell it's a pine needle scale.